Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. I'm glad to be here. addition to the workshop. I would come out at night and I couldn't walk over to where the uh, light switch was because I had it rigged up with extension cords. I know I could do it different, but I'm kind of restricted on what I can do. Now, with that night light there, I can walk over and flip switch. And away we go. We have lights in the building again. And as soon as the lights come on, the night light goes off and it works pretty well. It's just a little LED light bulb and a night light. So it's on when I'm not in here, but it, it only takes less than a watt to run it. Not going to be a problem. Okay. I decided I wanted to get some stuff done, but I needed to have a job that didn't require picking up anything heavy. Uh, one of the things that I thought was, well, you could cut some boards. That's just miter saw work. And I can do that and not have to lift anything major. I do have to clear some stuff out of the way, so I have to take it one piece at a time, maybe a small piece along with it. This is the heaviest thing I'm going to pick up today. I really want to run some wire, but just haven't got the ability to do it right now. So we'll get along without it. <laughs> Suffer through the problems. Now I want to get the extension cords picked up so that I don't trip over them. some of the tangles. Working with what we got, boys. Doing the best we can, trying to make things work. Sometimes you just have to compromise in ways that you wouldn't think you would normally do. make it so I don't trip because I can see that things tend to jump out at me and I don't like that when they do so trying to avoid that kind of a situation as much as possible Oops. not sure what plugs into this but I'm pretty sure something does Motivational work. Do things to make me feel like I'm being useful. 
Otherwise, you tend to sit down and get stuck in a holding pattern. You don't move much. Not moving is not good. Gaining on it. Making it so that the room is usable is a satisfying feeling. Don't have to do any oil changes right now. Can't do any oil changes right now. We're getting stuff out here. Try and get rid of the clutter on the floor while I'm paying attention to it, rather than just running into it and stepping on it and falling. I've fallen more in the last two years than I've fallen in my in practically the entire life. I don't count football as falling. Football is crashing onto somebody with the intent of knocking them down and going with them. So, all my time spent tackling people. Even though I never played organized sports football, I certainly have played enough of it in backyards and parks and other places that I think I qualify as a person who has played football. I enjoyed it, no question. I enjoyed it. Okay, I think I've reached the point where I can stop sweeping the floor. I'll have to do it again because I'm going to make a bunch of sawdust. But I can stop for now and carry on doing the thing that I intended to do in the beginning. I look around in here in the shop and I think, oh, there's a hundred things I could be doing, but let's go with the one that I originally said I wanted to do. Shelf boards. Shelf boards mean when I have them, I can put things on the shelves, and those shelves are then in better use. And I have a good chance to make things better. Something I just noticed. This is a good thing. It doesn't require any work on my part. Down here on the base of the drill press, so it's slightly up off the water, I have a bait trap. Here on the base of the drill press, so it's slightly up off the water, I have a bait trap. You may recall that I had a problem with mice in the building. Well, I put in the flipping and slide traps, I put in barrel traps, I put in snap traps, and I put in this poison trap. And the poison trap never seemed to have any activity. Then I looked at it and I thought, well, you dummy, you left the plastic coating on the bait. So, they weren't smelling it. They didn't know it was there. They didn't go get it. I cut the bait out of the plastic and now I have activity. Let's go out here to the end of the storyboard, line it up with my finger, chop it off. Not my finger, the board. Now the first thing I'm going to want to do, as soon as I get these boards cut, is to put up shelf braces, 
shelf beams and put up the shelves. But that would be a stupid thing to do. I can do light work, but doing heavy work like moving the beams around is not good. And I realize they're not that heavy. And they're maybe five, ten pounds. But doing something it would make it so that I have problems is foolish. Okay, that's good. I got a stack of shelving boards done. I've cut up all that I have torn down. I still have pallets over there against the wall, but pallet tear down is not in the books. It's not something I can do. And that's okay. I can be frustrated, I can be uh, restrained from doing the things that I want to do. But it doesn't really matter. I'm, I'm moving forward and I'll be able to do more in the coming days. Right? I'm feeling good, I got a job done. I didn't wear myself out. Uh, no problems, I'm not seeing any floaters, I'm not having any worries about being out here in the shop. Everything is going just great. So, thanks a lot for watching. If you have any suggestions for new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching. This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or the legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.